Hey folks, welcome back to Davidia Tempera. It is 270 BC, July. Oh nice, it's July in real life too, how about that? And we got some stuff to figure out. Uh, first off, let me change the gamma and brightness back down because we like, you know, we had the, we had it turned up for that night battle. Uh, I think I keep it at like 11 or 10 or something like that. Probably like 10, I don't know. <laughs> YouTube's gonna mess it all up anyways. Uh, oh, Subjugators actually comes with ammunition. That's interesting. Have I been going for that? Not really, and attritional losses when besieging, minus that, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's a good one. It's almost as good as range, honestly. Yeah, definitely get that, and get the range. Beautiful. That's a really, really good skill. Uh, make sure you get that, and we can only get two here, so... Yeah. Oh, I, th oh, I thought we could only get two, all right. I think the green one, the green flag is the other one we want, right? Royal Guard, yeah. Pretty sure. I like the movement range and the extra public order that an army can bring. Okay, so we've got that handled. Does anyone else have any upgrades that I don't know about? Are all my sages or, you know, uh, governors doing what they're supposed to do? They are. Is there anything that I really, really need to think about on the map? Yeah, right, this. Hmm. Atropatkin really isn't that strong. This stack has some potential to it. It's not terrible. It's not good. It's not terrible. It, it has some oomph. It, it can hit. It'd probably hit better if I got some more mercenaries. How's the food situation, Hecatomphilos? Really, 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 really bad. Okay. All men must serve. Um, 26 in this place. 21 in this army. I'm okay if nothing else comes out. But it could be that they have an army right here that I don't know about that'll reach me next turn. I'm thinking about the food situation and starving, and I'm thinking of sending this stack down there. Which, overall, this is a better stack, I think. Two elephants, four axemen, three cataphracts, five of these reserves, which are pretty bad, lots of spearmen, which is good. Lots of these guys, which is just kind of like meh. And uh, not, a, not a super strong missile force because I don't have javelins, but I do have um, eight archers, which isn't terrible, and I could get uh, another one. In fact, I think I'd prefer that over, uh, over these extra spears. And perhaps even the horse archers? I've never been much of a fan of horse archers, honestly. Probably because I never get them in an army with a general that's good enough to have all the extra ammo and stuff. So I think with consideration to not completely butchering all of the food in Hecatompilos, I do think I'll move this army south. What's dangerous about this is, of course, that this is more than double the income of any other province. And if I lose it, um, I, well, I basically lose the war. <laughs> I mean... I don't, but taking this back would suck. But I have I have the local forces to do that. If they take it from me, I can get it back. I don't think I can reach this turn, though. Did he just move across the desert? He did move across the desert to do that. Yes, cat. What? What? Yeah? Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your input. She's a better tactician than me. See, now she's gone to the right side of my chair, now she's going to the left side of my chair. Incredible moves. The, the, <laughs> the flexibility. These guys have no supplies. In Marv. Amul has a bit of a population, so I think we send you up to Amul to try and replenish. But he is definitely, he's not going to be doing anything for a while. Now hopefully that does put him in Amul. Yeah, it does. So this province should not run completely out of food now. 
Yeah, they're going to go up 19 next turn. Okay. For some reason, you're not consuming food. Are you in a mole too? Yes. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Negative 133. Good lord. Okay. Well, they can't reach you. I could put you in patrol stance. <laughs> Might help. Does that help? Let me see. I'm just curious. So it's minus 133. Still minus 133. Okay, yeah. Don't take the risk of getting yourself uh, ambushed. He's too weak for that. And the army like that he has is too weak to deal with it. Okay. That's your command. I want to try to pincer this? Nah. I don't think I want to try to pincer that, but I do want to maybe move up, scooch up there. He can't reach me and bomb. And if they retreat down at some point, he may be able to catch them. Now one problem is they may retreat into the desert, and they probably will retreat into the desert, and that'll cause problems for them, but it causes problems for me. My armies are not immune to the desert, I'm pretty sure. So, you know. They're resistant to heat, but that doesn't mean they're immune, so. Does not help me. Alright. What else do I need to do this turn, if anything? I mean, I could upgrade this to level 2, but I'm not confident I won't lose it. Um, we have this militia here. I considered moving them over to Hecatompilos to guard it. There's always the possibility that this stack will actually attack Hecatompilus next turn, and if they do, I, I kind of welcome that. I don't think I would have any trouble defending that, um, and it would just eliminate one of their stacks. Any diplomacy I need to think about? I mean, I'm untrustworthy right now. I'm not treacherous, but we could lose some trade agreements and such, which um, they make up not much income. We're still making good money, uh, although we are on high taxes, so yeah, we should be looking at the politics here. Uh, yeah, since we're running high taxes, how about we have you guys do a couple missions for me? Like so. Anything I need to build up in this province for the food? No, no. We have plenty of food, too. I'm pretty happy with that. And pretty soon here, our level 3 uh, capitals will be done for extra garrisons, for just more happiness in general. Not in the city. The public order will actually go down, but happiness in my soul. And that's what matters. And what also matters is my cat giving me advice. I don't want to kick you out. Oh, come here. What? You need attention? Okay. All right. I love you too. Ah, my nose. Please. Don't complain. Dude, go, go. Go eat some food. I know you have food. I just saw it. <laughs> she's mad because she's getting kicked out. Oh, wow, they're going to take the fight to us. Okay. Quite a bit of, quite a bit of light infantry or like medium infantry. Um, how are they on their missiles? Not great. Are those Javcav, I think? That's going to be really annoying. This army's not very mobile. Like, we have some medium decent speed units, but... We don't have Light Cav to counter Light Cav. But we do have enough archers, I think. It won't be too big of a deal. And we have the spears to defend the archers, so... It could be a lot worse. Could be a lot worse. I don't like this organization that's happening here. I'm not sure what that is all about. Um, so probably gonna want to first off move this back. Gotta think. And we will form something nice and wide with our spears. They're gonna be taking the brunt because they have decent-ish armor. And we will just back them up with a line of reserves. I mean, makes sense, right? If anything crumbles, they'll They'll be just good enough to plug a gap for me to resolve the, the situation. So that'll be group one and two. Okay. So, and I'm noticing this unit count is uneven, so when I do unit three, it's going to be like, ha-ha! They go first because they're an even number. Uh, 
<laughs> Highly upsetting. Very upsetting. Um, all right. Spears, I don't know what to do with. Axes, I don't know what to do with yet. So we'll just say archers. I mean, I'm thinking just a fairly large block. I mean, we, we have the kind of numbers where a pretty decently big block is reasonable. We're not going to have the amazing range that we do on our very nice armies. Because we don't have the very nice general. And we don't have the, you know, improvements that we normally have. So, uh, let's see. I mean, this guy has some upgrades, but I think his skills are all managerial. Manager type. I think we just do kind of a standard sort of box with our spears. We have more than enough. Do something like this. Something like this. And that leaves us with just you. You can fill this. Perfect. Very good. Very perfect. So these can either defend the flanks or they can also reinforce the front line. We're setting up the meat grinder here. And I think I want these, which are three speed. So they need to flank or they need to support the front line. One of the two. Um, I think I want them to flank. I don't want them to get hit by cavalry. So I'm going to put them kind of in the back. Also, here is what they look like. It looks like I think I had the brightness one level lower. Um, graphics. It's where I'm I'm losing my freaking mind, guys. Tired from work. Don't blame me. Still very bright, but whatever. Was the gamma down one? Sorry. One minute. Here. I'm gonna have to go look at the video to see what my settings were before I ran that night battle. Unfortunately, <laughs> it'd be like that sometimes. You guys need to be four, actually. Archers need to be three. You're five. And then we have kind of an interesting scenario where we have several cataphracts. Not used to having cataphracts in the army. Parthian hired cataphracts. Perhaps the Parthians would not have killed Crassus at Kare if he had used his legendary wealth to hire a few of their deadly armored lancers. I really... I'm not all that sure what I want to deal with these, but they're here. Ready. Elephants I'm going to hold in reserve since I have a little, like not too many of them, and they have a lot of skirmisher cavalry that I don't want to I don't want to deal with. So this is our formation as it stands. It's kind of complicated, but uh, we've played this game long enough. We can handle a complicated formation just fine. I'm glad I went fairly wide. It looks like I should have gone wider. That's really, really wide. And it's going to be spears as far as the eye can see until we get to the center, which I assume is going to be axes, right? Yeah, well, hillmen, I guess, rather. Who do have some axes. I call them axemen because they have a melee AP damage of 12, which is relatively high. Decently high. This is interesting. I mean, they have such a wide line, right? But... I do think they're going to slowly get cut through by the spears and the uh, other units I have. All right, so Persian, Hippias, those are their light cav. Now, that's interesting because they're going to just push them straight into my face here, probably hoping to get casualties very quickly. I would think that the defensive formation might help against missiles a little bit. We absolutely want to focus fire. Focus fire around four at a time if we can. You can just take that one on. Almost makes me want to run the reserves out to get shot instead. Maybe I run the reserves out real quick and run them back. They have three speed. I think having the cataphracts even that far forward is, is wrong at this point. And I also think that worrying about flanks is not... Like, these are all light missile cav... That's heavy. All right, Medians, yeah, okay. I think it's gonna quickly become a lot more important that I cover flanks. So we're gonna stretch. We're gonna stretch out like that. Try to hold the flanks for a while. Okay, that should go down. 
Medium, very light. Uh, I prefer to actually target very light units first. Yeah, okay. They have less armor, they're easier to kill, they take less ammo to kill. Uh, heavy Javelin Cav is still throwing Javelins. They might be better at it, but they're still throwing Javelins. Everyone needs to get out of defensive formation now because they are coming. I guess we're going to find out how good these Hillmen are because there's so many of them. Well, they've got a morale of 52. Wow. That's actually pretty good. Their general might be very decent. Okay, those are done. You need to stop wasting shots on those, please. What's next for me? Maybe the medians, the, the medium ones there. Um, I think those are done. I'm targeting <laughs> reserve units. Hmm. That's not... Okay, yeah. Kill their general. At Atropatis of Atropatkin. Is he... He's got gold chevrons. Is he, like, the guy? Is this their faction leader? Oh, man, that'd be hilarious. That would be funny. That would be great if he were to die in this battle. Yeah. Look at this flank, dude. I think I'm just gonna crush their center, is, is what I'm really thinking here, is just, you know, they're doing all this hemming and hawing around, they're doing all this circling and stuff, but at the end of the day, I'm gonna send some elephants through the center, and they're just gonna crumble. My front is strong enough that I think it can handle something like that. But we'll see. Let's order some charges, yeah. Not too much, though. I don't want to get too out of formation. But I think, yeah, I think most of their units are going to get slightly outclassed by, uh... Like, I think these are about the equivalent of the mercenary spears, yeah. They're slightly better. Much more, no, same morale, uh, worse morale. They have really good morale, these guys. I think it's because of their uh, very experienced general. It makes sense. They're not getting great kills on that Persian Hippias. Thinking about switching them to something else since it's kind of moving around a lot. Yeah, switch to those archers, please. Are they actually gonna try to get a flank there? They might, they might do that. I'm scared to go to full time like speed. To be honest, I got so much to look at, I, I almost wish I could zoom out even more. Yeah. Medium shot cavalry, huh? They definitely have some archers of their own. That one's almost done. What is this? Oh, Spar Bar. They don't have enough ammo for me to care about killing them. Uh, finish those off, please. Okay, that's their general. Routed. Um, I would like them to keep firing. I don't hear that he's dead. They got four men in the unit. If they continue, they might knock him out with this volley. Where is he? Which one is he? This one? I think so. He had a very fancy helmet. The enemy general yep. is dead. That was worth the ammo expenditure, by far. Okay, kill those now. Archer on archer action. Routed their heavy cav. Or what they call heavy cav, I guess. Alright, let's get some elephants in there. I like this spot right here. That looks nice for me. Start putting some reserve units in the fight. We have plenty to play with. Start moving out the flank uh, flank defender kind of units out. These spears. Just give them a spot to live. Okay, you guys are done firing, I think. Yeah, you can target those. Yep, immediate routes there. General, where do I want the general right now? Where do I want him? Could he be anywhere like super important? This side looks really, really weak. You go help over there. Um. Yeah, let's just send a couple units to reinforce on the right side. And we'll start having the elephants work a lot of stuff down. You guys ran out of ammo ages ago, in fact. You guys just go help now. This heavy missile cavalry. Uh, I don't think they're going to do super well against elephants. Axes. Axes, axes. 
So they're just gonna, I'm just gonna have them go in, go for it. And is there anyone that's not fighting that should be fighting? Yes. Elephants have broken free. Gonna get a nice charge off there. Perfect. Now we start splitting. We split them down the middle and their, uh, their flanks just haven't closed. They haven't closed enough to do anything. Now they're closing, but it's it's too late. They were out of sync. They were way too out of sync. No way that was going to work. They're going to get some kills, sure. The Satrap Guard Spearmen are pretty dangerous. Uh, we have a, a few archers left. I wish I'd seen those earlier. I would have been shooting at them. They have no shields. Would have been a good target. Oh well. We'll get a few kills. Um, I'm not even using the Cataphracts. It's because so much of their army is spearmen. <laughs> Even those elite archers are spearmen. Oh no, don't target don't target those with elephants though. I'm scared of what they can do against elephants. They have a 11 bonus and 11 attack and 18 defense. Rather not touch those at all if I can help it. In fact, they're actually charging me with archers there. Axemen are doing stuff. They're getting some kills. Yeah, so we were doing badly here, and we're not doing great here, but we're we're pushing up now. We're doing okay. We're surviving. The archers are actually putting in work, honestly. The uh, hybrid melee ones, I mean. Let's move the elephants over to that flank now. Or do I want to just try to pop this one? Well, what I don't like about this flank is not every unit is even fully committed. I can use the cataphracts on this flank. Let's get the elephants over to the right one. They're closer anyways. Or they're close enough, that is. Let's just make sure people are actually fighting. Don't need to do anything with those, but I can toss in these spears. Why not? Okay. Sparabara are not super tough, I think. They have still decent morale. 15 armor for 3 speed, 53 morale, 8, 17 melee attack and defense. It's actually pretty good. It's not bad. With a little bit of ammo, too. Okay. I thought Sparabara were kind of crap, but, um... Maybe if you, have, if you have a good general. Or maybe they're just better than I thought. I think I just look at the low ammunition that they have, which is four, and I just turn my nose up at them. Like, it's so bad. Alright, we're, we're popping them now. We've lost people here and there. The axes really didn't do all that much. But I didn't really use them right. I should have uh, thrown them in earlier. To be honest, I forgot they existed. It happens. I'm not going to chase them. I'm going to let the AI chase them. Although it really didn't take signif significant enough losses. Maybe I should have uh, chased them anyways. All right. No great shock winning that. I mean, the elephants are huge. The cataphracts are really high quality. The axes are decent. They just didn't have a good army to deal with me. Like, throwing trash against my better trash? Like, that's the thing. I have trash and then really, really good specialist units. They have trash and trash. I mean, they have this, this one good... Noble uh, archer. If they had like 10 of him, then yeah, I, I would have died and cried. Release the captives. He runs into the desert. Uh, we'll probably chase him. Oh, I'm glad he came and attacked me. I don't know why he did that. I'm really curious if that was the if that was the uh, faction leader. Is this a different guy? Someone tell me. I'll, I'll check the videos later, but I think that's a different guy. Alright, so they're in the desert. I do need to finish them off, so I'm gonna eat the casualties. Lots of casualties. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Uh, this is... This is exactly why I did this. Where did that army go? There was an army. Anyway. That's why I positioned him here. I expected something like this to happen. 
we'll release the captives for now because you know I'm I'm interested in peace I'm pretty okay with uh, reaching a peaceful agreement with these guys eventually pretty okay with that so if they come to me offering you know an accord I will probably accept I really don't want to war with them and now I'm kind of thinking about uh, shuffling around the garrisons because I would love Hecatompilos to uh, recover a little. In fact, um, I mean, if they don't have that army there, if he if he doesn't come back, I'll take this and probably liberate the settlement. So I'm not trying to take this territory so much. I'm just worried about trying to overextend and losing because I overextend way too much. Is he going to go all the way to Aktau? That's weird. That's kind of goofy, right? He has 24 units, and you know, with how depleted this army is, it's more than what I really got going for me. We actually have more nobles here than we have uh, second class due to all the replenishment that's happening. That's why he's going to be stuck there for a while. Even though we have some people there, we just don't have enough. Uh, we could always move west a little bit to Koth. If he, if, I mean, if he goes up there to Octau, which is like going to be well defended-ish, um, I can just recruit a couple mercenaries and like two dudes and a general, and it'll be more than enough. Is Bactria undefended? Where's my spy? There you are. Oh, no, it's not. Damn. 21 plus 19, though. 21 plus 19 is doable. If they choose... So they have a few choices. They can they can reinforce it with this. I want to say they may have one more group of soldiers somewhere. Is that true? Yeah. I wonder if they're actually going to come after a mole next turn. I'm wondering if I can hold that if they come at me. Um, let's do some merging. So I'm actually not completely confident. So I at least want to be fighting with full units. Or sort of full units. If they do come at me. Uh, we'll leave the missiles alone, and we'll recruit a mercenary and an extra elephant. It's expensive, but whatever. And you know what? We have nobles in the population, right? Why not use them? I'm really curious about these. It's really interesting. It's almost, it's swordsmen. It's like elite swordsmen. I'm not... I don't get to use this kind of unit very much. Not not a sword unit that's elite like this. <laughs> I have negative 62 people. All right, sure. We'll try them out. We'll try them out. It's something, and you know, if they don't attack, I can at least use them somewhere. Whatever. But I'm definitely gonna go for this. Gonna do it, and I'm not gonna attack this turn. I could maybe win that, but I would rather them attack into me. Much rather them attack into me. I'll have much more advantages doing a defensive battle against them. If they are that foolish. Fools. Okay. Let's see if we can find out. Where did he go? Aha! There you are. You guys noticing that I left bomb or something? I don't know. I did that this turn, though. Alright. Are politics falling apart? No, not really. It's interesting that I can't secure loyalty, though. I can only purge them. Uh, no, it looks okay. I mean, we're running the empire kind of into the ground with all the taxes, but you know, whatever. I like having the war chest. It's very nice to just be able to look at a, you know, like $6,000 elephant and be like, yeah, yeah, that's a reasonable purchase. <laughs> I 
Now, I'd, I'd be very happy if Bactria were to just sit there and do nothing now. Looking at the forces I have and where I have them and going, yeah, you know, let's just let him take Bactria. He won't take Bactria. He won't siege it. They are actually going to try. Okay. This is not an easy one. I definitely considered pulling out of here and letting them have this. That's a lot of pikes. How do I handle this one? That's a great question. The only real way is to try to clump them up really, really bad. We do get some deployables, thankfully. Oh. This is an interesting position. But I don't know if it's a good one, though. It's interesting. I don't think it's good. I was thinking this might be like the Greek, one of the Greek settlements where they have like very little surface area you can attack them on. You know? I might just lose the capture point, though. What if I just defend in depth right here, you know? Right on these steps. Make them come up. Shoot them, shoot the hell out of them as they run in, run up to take the capture point. I mean, the capture point's an advantage, but they probably won't be able to hold it once I actually do my flanking move, which is where I will try to be doing the most morale damage. I don't know. I don't have the answers. Mainly because I don't know where the AI is going to spawn from. It's random. I mean... What? So, like, th this should ostensibly be north, right? So they attacked from, like, the north and the east, so they should ostensibly come from these directions. But I doubt they will. Where else might I hold? My only issue with... So, so first off, you know, why not hold the town center? Well, there are four ways in. That's not great. They might not come from all four ways, but they also might come from all four ways. I don't know where they're coming from. So with that in mind, I'm thinking about maybe holding this spot here. It's got a really wide entrance right there though that I don't love. But one of the things I'm really thinking about here is this. I have to, even, even with this, I have to like kind of squish them on top of each other. It's pretty bad. So, this angle only has two avenues of attack. Here and here, and one of them is less than a unit wide. I think that one's pretty good. And it has pretty... Yeah, I was going to say it has easy access to get out and flank, but it actually has horrible access to get out and flank. Well, if we're committing to losing the town center anyways... I mean, they have to beat me before time runs out, right? I could just hold this outcrop. What if I just let them take the town and hold the outcrop? Outcropping here. Look at this little plateau. That looks kind of nice. I can maybe get angles on them from, from up high. Oh, I, I can't. I can't actually... I would have to go around. I would have to like run out and then across. Do like an exodus basically. It's risky because they could be coming from that way. But if they come from that way, the things that's going to hit me is cavalry and I have elephants to attack them. So, you know what? Let's have some fun. Let's do something like weird, right? They gotta come into me. Whatever I can do to waste their time as much as possible. Could be really good. Um. <laughs> good luck, dude. He has a morale boost, right? Because he's the leader? No? He doesn't. Okay, well. Good luck. You do the same thing. Is that all the townspeople there are? 
You guys are unit unit nine, unit zero. That's a lot of elephants, guys. <laughs> that is many elephants, in fact. Okay, spears can kind of all be together. Our decent spears, our decent maces, javelins, archer one, archer two. Even the even the baggage train. I'll try to even get the baggage train out. Now we think defenses. Well, we know which direction we want to delay. There's only two that we're worried about here. We delay them one here. Delay them one here. And uh, if you want to attack me on either of those with cavalry at any point, get spiked on. And honestly, you know what? What is this? Gre Greco Bactrian late cavalry. Okay, cavalry, if you guys want to have this. Um, Town center, you can run over Caltrips. Enjoy. Beyond that, uh, spikes, I guess. Sure, spikes. I mean, it doesn't really matter too much, to be honest. That's one thing I am doing. I'm kind of throwing away my, uh, my advantage I get from my deployables, but, eh, deployables are a crutch, right? So, now we find out where they spawn from. And I immediately restart because they spawn from stupid directions. We'll see. We will see. Let's just give the orders we can while we can the we can do them while we have a moment. Let's see where they come. As I was saying, they should probably be coming from like the north and the northeast. You know what? That actually does seem correct. Wouldn't it be funny if all this time, like, I've been complaining about the campaign map and the way the army spawn in being like wrong in this game? but it's actually always been factually correct anyways. That'd be kind of funny. This is unfortunate in a lot of ways because, uh, you know, I don't know if we'll make it. But if we don't, it's gonna be bad for them more so than me. Alrighty. Just sort of start up setting up some kind of defensive area here. They're immediately sending that cavalry out. They do have elephants. They have their own elephants. Here's one of their generals. Oh lord, he coming. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna kill them myself! <laughs> I'm gonna get him! Thankfully, the, the pikes they're fielding are not like crazy good pikes, only 10 and 11 with a 30 armor. I mean, they're good. Don't get me wrong, they're good. But they're not like crazy, right? I forgot to move the baggage train out. Oh no, not the camels! Not the camels! He's gonna, just gonna hold right there. Okay, yeah. You're allowed to do that. They're wanting to come in that flank, okay. I'm fine with that. Yeah, I figured they were going to send some Missile Cav, which is why I'm trying to line up my archers now. I'm expecting I might have to sacrifice an elephant or something to, to cover everyone. Let's, uh, let's see if that pans out, yeah. I'm wondering if they're just trying to come around here in the back. I, I think that's probably the case. Uh, I'll get, like, one elephant on, on the side here to cover the, the flank because a lot of my units are getting stuck. This is an irritation in Rome 2, sadly. It is a thing. Might lose us the battle. You never know. All right, what is your, what is your, what you, what you gonna do? You're gonna shoot at someone. Are they just, okay, sure. I guess you're allowed to do that. That seems real stupid. <laughs> But you are technically allowed to do it. Really annoying. Yeah, I forgot that units get stuck on angles. So what you want to do is you want to take like... 
you know, unit two and tell it to move here first, like this, so they don't get on the angle and then tell them to move across. And that does take extra time, of course. You're gonna attack me with cavalry. I'm gonna get you with my elephants, man. What are you thinking? Yeah, archers, don't let those don't let those disrespect you like that. Where's my other archer unit? Because that's that's my big concern. They might have a lot of cover with the cliff side there. I would prefer to retreat some of those elephants before they make contact, but I may not have the chance. And that's what I meant by potentially sacrificing some elephants. Are they coming in for a cycle charge? Like, are they even bothering to try to be the unit they are, or are they just gonna do weird shit? The enemy general is dead. Wait, where'd the elephant I sent out go? Oh, he got, like, roped into combat. Whoops. Because I do want to keep an eye out for a possible... Yeah, see, look. They're they're thinking about it. They want it. They want it. Because my dudes are so freaking clogged up, dude. What the hell? <laughs> For fuck's sake. I'm not gonna fix it. I'm just gonna let the game be the game. Let you have you get the game you have, not the game you want. Okay, I really need like intense fire on those. Everything you got from both archer units. In fact, considering how poorly that's going, just maybe I tell the javelins to move out. Those need to die like yesterday, and I'm not sure if I can get the kills on them I need in time. But I can't move back too far. What are you doing? <laughs> I need to run forward because I don't have an angle. Well, that's why you put them in defense mode, guard mode. Baggage trains coming out. <laughs> it's going to win the battle. Go camels! <laughs> the elephants go, camels, yay! <laughs> That's unfortunate. They're just gonna charge straight in, dude. I'm I'm gonna try to hold static with my elephants. Uh, well, that sucks. That sucks. He's gonna come at me again. I don't want to use my general elephant unit for that. Did they make it through? These guys are still stuck back here. Yeah, those just made it through. Okay, please tell me you're getting quick kills on these. Yeah. Probably gonna lose this archer unit, but um, they're getting some kills. Yeah, they're gonna route, okay. Comes that cav. Go ahead and charge him. Gonna lose that elephant, that's fine. If we survive this, uh, the war is over, essentially. Especially if we, if we hurt them pretty bad. Even if we give them a really bad nosebleed, it's a pretty bad setback for the whole campaign, but it would ultimately be a fairly big win. Okay, I pick you. Looks like the game is glitched. Someone is routing. Yep, the Indian townsfolk are routing, so they're attached to my elephants. You're gonna be my sacrificial unit. Uh, so you and you go in separate groups, all of the unit one elephants. Go ahead and retreat. All the javelins. Go ahead and retreat if you can. All the archers. Go ahead and retreat if you can. All the other archers also go ahead and retreat if you can. I don't like that they don't have great uh, areas to stand in anymore. This is a very small <laughs> place we're fighting in. Um, I can fix that. Hang on. I got this. I got this. We're fine. So it becomes impassable here. Get in defense formation. Yeah. All, all of you. Oh, one of them is stuck on the Indian townsfolk. Right, right. So it kind of breaks my life. <sighs> okay. Then the macemen. And then the javelins. And then one of the archers. And then the other archer. And elephants kind of do something like this, I guess. 
can't completely get them out of the archer's way, but I can try. So yeah, if the, if if I believe I'm going to take too many heavy casualties, I'm just going to I'm just going to pull those elephants into the pikes. And it's going to suck. In fact, uh, let's see if I can do this a little more expediently. Let's see if I can maybe get a little more value out of those elephants that I'm about to lose. Baggage train, get them. I believe in you, baggage train. <laughs> Use my years of baggage against them. They all go into phalanx, yeah? I can't dismount them, unfortunately. Get them! Ah! Okay. Now some of them are actually looking the wrong way. Now they're probably gonna turn in time. Yeah, look at them. They know. They know, they know, they know. Get out, get out, get out, get out. <laughs> You're not faster than elephants. What are you doing? I think that's actually enough. I think enough got away that I, I, I'm actually satisfied with that. Maybe I will just lose the elephants, uh, or not lose the elephants, rather. <laughs> I can't believe they're, they're still fighting. I thought they would have routed like immediately. This is actually screwing up my formation so much, having them attached like that. Because look, it's actually sending my elephants the wrong fucking way! Game! That's one of the most irritating bugs. That's a decent, uh, target for the- Oh no, the Sogany and Axemen. Those are gonna screw up my elephants real bad, actually. <laughs> Just keep pushing through them! Get into the bikes! <laughs> if they have to pull out their swords, you'll be fine. <laughs> hey man, they're getting kills. They're doing stuff. We're starting to lose these elephants over here. They're not doing particularly well. Uh, they're definitely getting fired upon quite badly. They're fighting uh, Bactrian and Cataphracts, I think is what I saw there. Yeah. Yeah, those are really, really good units, so it's fair. Over 100 kills on this elephant ain't bad, to be honest with you. I'm to try to tell them to attack further in, just see what happens. I'm assuming they're just gonna die really quickly, but... Steady. Yeah. Elephants don't have the best morale. Who would've thought? Who would've thunk it? Yeah, lose those ones. They're shattered. So, I'm satisfied with the holding actions I did, right? I, I'm okay with how they ended up working out. We got a general kill at some point in there, too, which I'm pretty happy with. Having these lost to a route this quickly, unfortunately. That's pretty unfortunate. Because there was so much unit left. If I'd been able to morale buff them, maybe if I had uh, rallied them before my general left, it would have been better. You guys can't waste all your ammo on assault infantry, dude. Neither can you. So, we have a very thick, decently scary line here for them to to break through to do anything to us. Now, that thick, scary line is going to get absolutely butchered by pikes. But we've done a good job of just throwing them into disarray. I mean, this is not well organized on their part. And they might even, uh, ignore us? They gonna group up before they actually like fight us? I'm not gonna let you do that. What do you mean you're walking forward? No, you're not. Uh huh. You can fire a volley at them if you're in range. They're like not quite counting as in range in some places because the units spread out. Hmm. Yeah, don't waste your shots on that. Nope, they're not gonna ignore us, they're coming. Okay. So we find a weak spot in the line, or just a spot that I want to destroy in general, and we just send elephants at them. I mean, look at this grouping we have. You saw we got 100 kills, even in a horribly disadvantaged situation. And it might be the case that we can break the elephants out of this. But surviving this for 60 minutes, eh, I don't think this is going to buy us that kind of time. So what can I target then? With my archers, can I do anything good with them? Yeah. Yeah, there's some, uh, there's some missile cab. That's a good target. 
There's some cataphracts. That's a, a decent target, I think. No, just get the missile cav. Anything that can shoot me. I have enough deaths that I'm gonna have to deal with from melee. Oh, they actually charge in. Um... Okay. Never mind. So at some point, I'm thinking, you know, we either pick off a general with our javelins, if he comes in, or we pick off a, uh... Like, something. We pick, like, a pike. Something. We find someone that we just really need to die. Make sure they die. We create sort of a hole for ourselves when we send elephants after them. But they need to commit first, and that's the thing. I'm not sure if we're gonna get them to commit to such a level that I can really deal with them. I don't know. Yeah, I'd like to kill that Yavanna guard if I can. Now, my armored spearmen have amazing melee defense. That's one thing that's really going for them with this formation and the general they have and all that good stuff. And, and their armor, too, in this formation is 40, so... I mean, they're really, really good when they're in formation, it seems. Their stats actually become very good, but... It's just a phalanx, you know? It's, it's just a pike phalanx. They're so good. So good, both in sort of a realistic sense in some ways, but also just in the game. Yeah, I want that dude to die. I don't even, I don't care how many people have to waste ammunition to kill him, he needs to die. Those hoplites are terrifying to me. I would expect to lose most, if not all, of the, uh, of our spears in this battle. If we even win. And that's not guaranteed at all. We're getting okay kills. We're not getting horrible kills. Yeah, that guy has great missile resistance. Okay, uh, that's a good target for javelins. You gotta kill something kind of fast. They're they're a little bit better for that. That'll hurt whatever pike units are fighting here. Already down to 170 on this one. Here's the pro man. They got so much to commit left. It's looking pretty bad. Looking pretty bad. Once they've like fully committed, if I'm still alive, that's when I would like to send elephants in. Ooh 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 ooh! Wait 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 wait. They have units that are, uh, thinking about routing. I need to get my general to war cry stuff like that. Yeah. War cry that. And one of you, put some fire arrows on them. Give me some, give me some morale penalties. Whatever you can give me. And you know what? Yeah, I'll just let the javelins fire straight on. I mean, they're not going to get great damage, but they're hitting a lot of units anyways. Man, that didn't do much. Okay. Yeah, they're not gonna route. Okay. They, d they decided they were fine. I guess I war cried the wrong unit. 152. Yikes. Yeah, we're reaching critical mass. We gotta do something soon. Let's start moving out. Let's just do it. We're gonna hit the left. Let's hit some of these pikes that are kind of hanging back, I guess. I don't know. Let's hit this one that's hanging back. We're gonna we're gonna try for it. I'm just gonna try to push into the meat grinder so much that I don't know but we are causing like crazy morale losses here yeah some of these more wounded ones are definitely scared as hell by this and ideally what I'd like to do if I can is I'd like to force path out of this look at this wedge we got driving in here Let's just push everyone in. I mean, we're, we're all in. 
We gotta do this. Definitely scared of losing the general. I'm hoping this will be kind of like Warhammer. Warhammer, uh, large units, like, fight really well in groups together. I don't think it's gonna work like Warhammer. I think we're just gonna lose, to be honest with you. This is gonna kill my frames. Look at that. <laughs> there is too much here. Dude. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, they're all gonna go down. I... I don't know. I'm at a loss, actually. I think... I think we just lose this. Um... Should have been killing those before before that started. It's not over, but it hurts. It hurts a lot. That was way too many. We just lost. We can start deploying our archers. They the archers do melee. It's a thing that they do. Yikes, 87 kills on those pikemen. Y'all are just wasting your ammo like you have tons. The line is still there. General still providing a morale bonus to everyone. Our macemen are in and, you know, they, they're they supposed to do anti-armor damage, but they gotta get onto the pikes to do it, and they're pikes. It's from the front. To be honest, I don't think this would have gone any better if I had held uh, the town center, because they would have come from this side, this side, and the cavalry from here. Um, wow. Oh, they have another unit of elephants. <laughs> They're being stupid with them, so that helps, but... Another general, huh? Well, do what you can. Do what you can. Maybe kill them. It'd be nice. I'd be happy. This side's pretty weak, actually. They're so hurt. I'm gonna try it, though. The other problem is my elephants got stuck, like this. They're not even, like, moving. They're not even trying. Or it feels like they're not trying, you know? What did- see, like, what are they doing right here? That's not what I ordered, like, at all. I didn't order you to go commit suicide on the pikes. What are they doing? Let me tell them to take a wider formation, I guess? Those are dead. About to die. The only way to win something like this is to just get a, a, a crazy chain route. They're, and a lot of them are like exhausted, so they're not doing well. They're not happy with their lives, but it's not enough. We're gonna try it again. I mean, I'm just gonna charge straight into freaking pikes. Immediately die. What do you expect? I'm gonna try force pathing. I don't know. I'm out of ideas, dude. Yeah, they just instantly die. There's no way. Crap. I don't know what to do for this battle, then. Here's the thing. This is- this is such a bad loss. I don't think I can accept that. I think I'm gonna reload it. Hmm. I'm gonna take a look at the situation after this and see if I can even do the whole war now. So I think the war is just lost. It's it may not be lost. It's probably not lost. I can reposition stuff. I'm just gonna lose that whole uh, province again. And if they liberate stuff, then it's gonna make that war go on forever.
It's really rough to lose this general, too. Yeah. Really, really rough to lose him. You know, I wonder if I could have played this differently and just, you know, like done this, right? Um, used my archers a little bit better as melee units because they are hybrid melee units. And, you know, ground through layers of defense before using the elephants. And if that might have weakened them enough uh, to where we had a better chance. It's not like they sent that much against me, but this army was so weakened. Here's the thing, though. The only thing that was really weakened was the macemen. And the macemen just aren't... I'm not impressed. I haven't been impressed by the macemen at all. They've been pretty bad. But if we look at this, I mean, all these dudes are exhausted. They're just totally tired out. So I don't know how effective their formations actually are at that point. I want to be clear, we're not winning. This is this is already over. I'm just kind of interested. I want to see what the breakpoints are. How how long can some of these units hold in melee? So that I know how I can use them. Like, this one's already wavering at only 125. This one's fine, though. So that's interesting that this one's upset. It looks like his unit's really uh, disorganized. More so than some. I knew I should have pulled back. I was thinking about it. The other reason I'm thinking about reloading is losing this uh, faction leader is going to screw my government, my politics, in multiple ways. Not only is it going to screw up the uh, politics in the sense that they're going to be pissed at me, which I can probably deal with, uh, that faction, but it's also going to make the other faction like ridiculously powerful because of the gravitas loss and the bug. It's going to flow down to them in insane amounts. To the point where I might not be able to manage it, but I'm not 100% sure if that'll happen or not. Like, I'm not sure how bad it'll be, rather. These guys held pretty well, and they got okay casualties in places. It's because these dudes are exhausted. I almost want to... I was thinking about this because I've, I have elephants. I almost wonder if it would have been better to leave the city like I was doing there, but organize it better and just go out against them, right? And just crush one of their armies instead of trying to defend inside the city and try to, instead of trying to do a defensive position, well, we're only 37, is that say 37? I can't read the numbers against this background. Yeah, I think it's 36 minutes remaining still. It's not like we were ever going to defend long enough to win that way. Two hundred kills on some of these. Oh my god. Five hundred twenty kills on this pike unit. They've only lost like sixty guys. Dude. My frames. <laughs> it's too many sticks. Can't render all of it. Dude. That's rough. It's not fair. It's unfair. It's outrageous. Yeah, Maceman like just did okay. Hmm. The general unit survived too. The bastard. Okay. I mean, we didn't even we didn't even kill enough to uh, stop them from taking another town. I can't leave that. I don't know. I did think that would go better. 10,000 to 8,000, and I didn't even kill more than they killed. Elephants just didn't do anything against the front of those pikes, which, yeah, that makes sense. 
Well, now we know the breakpoints. And that's what I didn't know, right? Elephants have been taking on challenges that I would not usually try to apply them to. And this is where you can see that they just can't overcome that. From the performance of that first elephant that hit them in the side and got like 100 kills by itself without any support, I legitimately felt like they might actually just be able to push through the pikes and kill enough to make some space for themselves. But it looks like that wasn't the case. Now, if I had held the elephants until the end, until the very, very end of the battle where we just were, where we just took army losses, like maybe not right there, but maybe where we were starting to be down to just our archers or something, maybe we would have had better luck. I'm not really super sure. I don't know if that battle is winnable with the forces that we have. I think so. I think it'd be a lot better if we split them. And not split them in the way where we got kind of trapped. So we got two battles to fight. Where is this even coming from, dude? Oh, this is, oh, this is actually Bactria. I don't know, man. I got to decide if I even want to take this battle. Also, I've let this episode run for like an hour. <laughs> Whoops. I was supposed to end it at some point, but I didn't. So you're getting an extra long episode today, guys. Well, hmm. I think I'm probably going to reload. I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I think I probably will. We'll see, folks. Uh, and you'll see next time, guys. I'm not going to take this until I decide, though. Until then, y'all have a good one. <laughs> Peace out.